All right, uh, welcome back. Episode seventeen of uh, of uh, and the God stream had to come back after yesterday's debacle, total disaster last night was. So I said I get back on for an hour today, try and resurrect the season, try and rescue it a bit. Uh, total disaster, really. Uh, yesterday was I had to look back at it, some of the games, the clips there last night. Uh, the first six games, stands on the first six games we had. He can see his first shot and target every time. So we were one and down effectively before we even started the game. First six games last night. All these ones. Then I dropped them for a man, did I? David Dye, yeah. So these first six games, the, the uh, opposition's first shot and target went in every time. So we were one and down before we even started the game. Disaster, like he left them one or two there. Thought he was my first time having stands, was it? But useless. And all the opposition goals, he's got an eight or a nine. The only game where they didn't was this one, the only one. But they got an 8 or 9 in every game. The opposition goal is bloody ridiculous. Uh, the run we're on. So I, I just have to change formation or something. Some guy had that on Twitter last night. How sick he was of being champed. I think it was Chapman Forums or something. And another guy replied saying, You have to change the goalie or change tactic or change the attitude. The tacky attitude to avoid being champed. So I was changing that, right? I'm attacking normal. I'm going to change the formation now away from home. I'm going to go something I never did before now. I'm going to knock it at him, at him out of Raquel, so I'm going to try him in the centre midfield, like I did with Imar and um, inverting the pyramid save. I was getting nothing out of Imar here. When I put him in the midfield, then he was fine. I'm going to try to play four DMCs, so I can get Ndai and Malevsky both in the pitch. I'm going to save that. And I'm going to try, so... I don't like playing a 2-1 here. I like playing a 1-2. As a triangle. I like, I prefer playing two up front than one in the hole, but I'm going to try this in a... So I'm going to try, so as so I can play my left, oh, do I do have him going forward like that, or I don't know, should I go like that? I'll go like that, I think. I don't know if those are going forward either, we'll see. So I'm going to try now, my first time doing forward AMCs. Well, we're leaking so many goals, I have to do something, I have to change something. I don't think this guy will ever get a game for me again. <laughs> he totally lost my trust that last night. Ah, oh, so bloody demoralizing when you leave in your first shot every time. So demoralizing. Bloody sickening it was. Uh, the last game was a sickener too. The uh, one we were two nil up and brought on Raquel, of course, and we collapsed last two nil. This guy really cost me not Grafeda, he's missing too many shots. Three shots there, I get back, because this time he scored though. Archie shooting is killing me really. Alright, we have to try to turn things around here a bit. We still have a chance at Champions League though, we beat Feyenoard. Kind of well set, Prusa away, I oh, always have trouble with these guys. They have Anne, Recess, and Muslimovic is the other guy who always ruins me, yeah. Those three usually ruin me. And I will try new formation to see how it goes. So you can be reversed the slump. Right there, you're keeping your spot. You're not doing morale's okay. You're not doing well. Oh, he's really pissed me off. I can't can't afford to put him in there again. Chris, this guy got the winner, did he? Did he get a goal in the last game? Sandy played in, yeah. Back to the old boys. I'm going to try Leon Pio's wing back. And, who's, and Maleski, and I'm going to play... Who's saying anyway? Go play Mileski and, and die then, as these fellas. See where that goes. See, can we get anything out of Raquel in the middle of the field then? And in the hole then, I'm going to do Ronaldinho. I was going to do Ronaldinho and Brazek. And Graf up front. Jeez, Mraz, still superb. Just have to go Archie. Play either foot. Ronald and Bow. All right, I'm gonna have to try. We have to try something like we have to try change it up a bit. We're away from home. We go normal. Yeah, try weather the first half. So man, man, let's go zone before V. The rest of you're fine. Uh, we'll take off the long shots as well. I was wondering because we're just so many. He's fifteen. So many shots and goal. We're not scoring. We're not hitting the target. I think, alright, you can go out. Uh, he's, yeah, I'll leave him on for now, I suppose. Uh, yeah. No, I just pass the ball, you. Yeah, you do it. Who am I missing here? And die? Oh, yeah. Uh, 
passing like 13. Razak passing. Dean, yeah, you try a few. Right, we have to leave there, yeah. We bloody pissed around tactics all day. We'll be too low now. 20 minutes, no doubt. And I, uh, yeah, you go forward. Get forward, lad. Get forward. Yeah, so we put someone on and so some marking him. I will pick him up, you. Yeah, pick up that son of a bitch. Go only save the first shot today. We're being battered, though. That will kill me. Graph missing shots again. Take you over from where we left off yesterday. He's ah, get him ball. Yes, no, third off side goal. Two last night as well. Come on, Graf, we need a goal over here. Jeez, he didn't score in ages. Pass the defenders. Not hitting the target again. We're not hitting the target. We'll just say take off the long shots. I'm going to let this guy off. Uh, where is he? Right, let's go at him. Come on now, Graf, I need a goal over here. Is he missing the guy out of the shots? It is. Of course, the Graf again. Four shots, two on target. He's really cost me. She's Anne, nearly scored. All right, well an Archie, long range shot. Nah, couldn't hold it. Uh, Lee Young, damn ya. Push man. Can get your man out of graph for Harris. Give him, give him a chance. Even enough. Boban, fuck yeah. Yes, Graf, full time. Come on. It's be a big win. Ah, uh, get in. Jesus, hold a miss. Hold now. Hold it. Oof. Hold it. Nah, I couldn't do it. Oh, jeez, it's going so badly. Nah. Fucking hell, it's the second I know, second game round, I'll give away the lead in the last 10 minutes. Oh, fuck, we're still conceding so many goals. Fucking hell, look at this again, way more shots, twice as many shots. Fucking Jesus. Oh, what did our goal they get? A six, Jesus. It's rare. Fuck, that's a sick knock. God, we really can't turn around. We actually weren't bad there. We're dominating games, just not bearing to you. We're too many goals, I need another defender. Fuck, I don't know. I know, I know, I was never confident the whole day out when we got the, when we got ahead. Same as this one, there are two, four costly points gone now. Now we're two enough there. Give me two goals to come up to the last ten minutes. Fuck, I don't know. Jesus. Same as where we were yesterday. Same as where we were. Very dispiriting, the way we're going. Very dispiriting. There are tough Perugia, but still. God, Vresis. Yeah, so I have two, uh, my son Cooper, we've got two articles. He did in Jago Maradona, one 2008, one 2010. I'll read out the 2008 one, where he's coach of, uh, just take up the Argentinian job. 2008, he's there for 2010 World Cup then, he's won then when he was at the World Cup, his manager. So yeah, this was good because he talks about his goal in 86, interviews with Valdano about it. Uh, Valdano was the one guy running alongside him for a goal against England in 86. The uh, one where he beat everyone in the team, not the hand of God. Of course Argentina shouldn't have let Diego Maradona coach its football team. He won't last long in the post, 
He has enough trouble getting out of bed, let alone up in Glasgow for Scotland and Argentina on the 19th of November. The fat cigar smoker and former cocaine addict with the geriatrics heart may not even be around for the next World Cup. But all that misses the point. A national team doesn't exist only to win. It also represents the nation. And nobody in football incarnates his country and its fans like Diego Maradona. That part, That is part of his genius. Here are some of the scenes from his life from two recent films about him which explain why he and Argentina had to give him the job. Simply had to give it some. So Mexico 86. After his two legendary goals of knocking England out of the World Cup, Maradona and his teammates sit joking in the change room. The striker Jorge Valdano teases him. While Maradona was dribbling past six Englishmen, Valdano was running alongside him calling for the ball. Why didn't Maradona pass? Yes, replies Maradona. I was watching you and kept meaning to pass, but the English kept getting in the way. And suddenly I beat them all, so I just scored. Valdano is odd. While you scored a goal, you were also watching me. Old man, you insult me. It isn't possible. And the midfielder Hector Enrique calls from the showers. Lots of praise for the goal, but after that pass I gave him, if he hadn't scored, he should have been killed. Everyone laughs. As Maradona notes, Enrique has shoved the ball into his feet in their own half. It is, char- it is characteristic Maradona scene. Though towered over by his teammates, he always felt it one of, was one of the team. When he asked Valdana if he liked Maradona, he replied, I love Maradona. I'm from the country of Maradona. Tommy Grandin's contract, do we give him a new one? Unreal stats. No, we won't because we have. Guys coming in. <laughs> Some defensive fielders coming in next season. Been wanting this guy a long time. I've never had him in the game. I haven't done Kieran Dyer either, but he came up available. Guy's stats incredible. Where are they playing him? Here, Christ. That's interesting. Alright, big one. If we win this one, we nearly seal qualification. And do I go back to a more attacking formation? I will. We'll go back to our uh, this one. Right, die. Do I give Cooper a chance? Sandy? No, I'll stick with Sandy. You know, we we'll concede two goals a game. Uh, la la la. This guy's flying, I can't trap him. We're, we're rating so well, and Jesus, we're just not winning games. This guy's an automatic eight every game. Go on, how to drop Malevsky. Fuck, oh, got a real selection headaches there. Real selection headaches. Alright, Bob, and you gotta start. Give me an assist. Sally as well. Not what Kelly doing in the middle of the field. Fuck all again. No, I'm dropping him. For who? Who playing the hole? Archie. Graf. Brozic. Harris. Kelme. Grandland. No, Hussein. Alright, that's where we have to go. Need to win this one, lads. Once we're gone. Once we're going home, and I have no confidence that we're going to do it. We haven't won in what? Since the Saucy had that game. God, look at the goals we're conceding. Fucking hell. It's incredible. And look at us here. We're going to see anything there then. Jesus. Cruel, cruel stuff. Not killing games either. Well done, Brozak. We're letting teams back into it. Well, they have good answer and uh, Van Hyland come front, I think, today. Oh no, Guilherme. Van Hyland's on the bench. He saved the first shot, anyway. To start. Yes! We're we finally going to kill off again. And then the graph. See, back in the goals. See, we're wrecking my head. i got to keep an eye on fitness out for the last 10 minutes because we're seeing so many goals the last 10 minutes. Yes! Strikers are scoring, finally. Are we going to win a game? Gotta get your man out of there. Um, oh, man. 78. It's only good for an hour. Baron Rod's no good in the wing, but anyway. Keep it going. Are you getting assists for me? Two for Leon Pio. Jeez, unbelievable. I'm going to fit in I'll fit them all now. Next season, five defensive fielders. See, they're all scoring now. Couldn't have done that in the last couple of games, lads. If Arsenal's favour now, it should be true. 
And they're not. Ah, oh, Jesus. So come on. Fuck, that's a sickener. Are we sure that we, we want this to be true? God, Cristal, just not playing well. Give him the cool frame and run. Ah, Jesus, another last one call. Alright, unlucky. We were lucky, I mean. Ah, uh, Jesus, loud tens. This guy's flying. First time having him. Three assists. Ha! <laughs> Dominated the game. It's passing. Passing machine. Three key passes. Alright, how did the boys get on? Ah, shit, saucy that one. Oh, fuck it. That's a real kick in the teeth. Shit. We need Ars to do his favour there. I was sure Ars to win, so we got through. They're one off as well. They're hard to beat at home, though, that crowd. Hopefully, they're away. They should be away in their last game, should they? They're away at Fine Art. We're looking for a favourite Fine Art because we're not going to get any other Arsenal. They, did they wallop us the first time we played them? Oh, well, we drew at home. We had a guy sent off after 15 minutes. And they're better on us, right? Oh, we. Oh, Jesus. Not a last minute call. Of course. Of course. So, Buenos Aires, 2004. Maradona lies in intensive care, his heart failing. Argentines gather outside the hospital doors. They expect him to die young. Got to run far around. This is what Argentine heroes do. Eva Peron, Che Guevara, Carlos Gardel, the singer Rodrigo. In the Catholic tradition, the heroes die to redeem the country's sins. Like Evita, Maradona is a sort of Argentine folk saint. In Carlos Serene's 2006 movie, The Road to San Diego, an illiterate woodcutter decides that a fallen tree in the forest resembles a cheering Maradona. Dyer is absolutely killing it. It's going to be a great signing. Go on, Dyer. He crafts the thing into a statue of Maradona and carries it across Argentina. Some people he meets laugh at him, noting that the statue looks nothing like Maradona. Many grasp its religious status. Santa Maradona. As a Brazilian truck driver remarks. In Emmer Costa Rica's new documentary, Maradona by Costa Rica, crowds form around Maradona wherever he goes. As if he were an icon in a Catholic procession. It looks exhausting, but Maradona understands the iconography. In his interviews with Costa Rica, he wears an outside silver cross and explains how God saved him in intensive care. Right, Vicenza at home. Must win. Well, uh, Hussein, it's on with you. Yeah, then I gave him a new contract last year. Fucking hell. Go on away, boy. Go on away. Right, what do we do? Would I change, stay with this tactic, or go back to the one I was um, experimenting with? No, I'll stay with this. We were flying. We scored four goals. Can't be too critical. Extremely cautious. Ah, get in, Chris. Rebound. Ah, oh, it seems about three goals there. Ah, bury it. Ah, oh, fucking hell, this is incredible. Rosic, come on. Yes, Graf. Yes, one brother. Strike is scoring. I know we're up against nothing, but anyway, we were struggling. Good, good, good. Happy that. Battering them. Battering them. Good stuff. Leon Piona assist. Graph is scoring, we're a different team. Come on, lads, wake up a bit. That's it. Another offside goal, Jesus. My oh boy, it's tiring. Get Raquel in there. Nah. Last time I brought him on, we were two up. He gave away two bloody goals. Actually, tiring. Come on now, Roman. Do me something. Jesus, we did not in the second half. Very poor second half.
Good, good, good. Well done. How did he do last season? I mean, 10 goals and 8 assists, alright, he's alright, in fairness. Jesus. If you way more games, this year and a half is good. It's fine thing. Lee Young Pyo again. God, he's in some form. Once I've given him his nod, he's unstoppable. Alright, we need that. We need that in the league. Our banana flipped through games handovers. And so did Lazio. <gasps> Is there four teams qualify? Which might be right, there's four teams qualify. <gasps> We're at Champions League. Yeah. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. So Qatar 2005, Maradona. Maradona and Pele appear at the launch of something or other. Afterwards, writer James Montague in his book, When Friday Comes, the Qatari crowd rushes the stage. Or oh, writes James Montague. Evan ignores Pele, Montague writes. All I can see in the middle is the top of Diego's unkept afro, buried in a sea of adoring fans. Augustin Pichot, Arg Argentina's former rugby captain and Maradona's friend, explains that people love Maradona because he's authentic. We feel we know him. He's flawed like us. That's partly because Maradona looks like an ordinary person. Never has a great athlete looked less <laughs> like a great athlete. In Surin's film set in poor provincial Argentina, we see rural people with withered faces in rickety buses. A cheap prostitute, a blind lottery sick ticket seller who recognise themselves in the tubby little former slum dweller. Maradona is their link to greatness. Right, international break. But we need that. We need that. Oh, we don't really. We're up again. No, we're not. We are up quickly. No, really international break. Yeah. So John Reed World Cup 2006. Maradona is here as a fan. He sits in the stands wearing an Argentine replica shirt. Yeah, he was manager 2010 in South Africa. Jumping rhythmically with the other Argentine supporters. Pelé, Franz Beckenbauer couldn't have done it, but Maradona embodies Argentina. Cinemas 2008. Costa Rica's film is Agi Pro for Fidel Castro, Chavez and Costa Rica. Yet it also captures the truth about Maradona and Argentina. It's a great film actually. Maradona by Costa Rica, who was played in the Cannes Film Festival. Um, if you can get it, you can get it on YouTube, it's in Spanish. They speak Spanish for most of it, and there's no subtitles on it, so it's a bit of a pain. Uh, I watched it years ago with subtitles, I can't. I've downloaded it a couple times since, but I can't find the, can't get the subtitle files working. But uh, yeah, great film, right? It's Costa Rica meeting Maradona and going around with him. Costa Rica's a Serbian actor and director, a real bohemian dude right up Maradona Street. Real alternative dude, so they're just sitting sitting around talking politics and soccer all the time and drinking and stuff right up Maradona Street. Uh, so I didn't read a bit about it here. Oh yeah, so yeah, the, so the film, yeah, the documentary, it also captures the truth about Maradona and Argentina. The player avenges the country's frustrations about his place in the world. The film includes a cartoon version of Maradona's goal versus England, in which he dribbles past Margaret Thatcher, who herself gets decapitated, a handbag wielding Queen Elizabeth, a horned Tony Blair, who bites Maradona's ankle before dropping into the underworld, and pistol toting George W. Bush. Costa Rica called the goal one of the, those rare moments that a country heavily in debt to the IMF trump, triumph over the, world, the rulers of the world. That surely is too much of an honour for England. However, Maradona and many Argentines experienced the, the goal as just that. If you want to understand why Latin America is going left wing, look at Maradona. He incarnates Chavezian resentment. The last scene of the Costa Rica film, two Argentine street musicians are singing a folk song, If I Were Maradona. Suddenly Maradona is standing on the street beside them listening. Behind his huge sunglasses, he starts to weep. He knows how the fans feel. He's one of them himself. The Argentine team has always belonged to him. Yeah, always his team. Had to give the manager a job. All right, uh, here we go. Champions League season's on the line. Let's do the job ourselves now, not be relying on... Uh, I should have never saved the other one. Not be relying on um, fine art for us. Raquel Mayer back in. Let's go to this defensive one now. We're going to go two up top to the one. Right, you're holding your spot. We're doing well. Touch wood. So are you, Sandy? So I thought you were done with us. He's actually playing poorly, is he? Yeah, very low morale. Get him out of there. Okay, morale, but playing shite. Seven six seven. My record big signing was. Right, Leon, you're flying. Hussein. 
Malevsky and Undai. Okay, my command, I need a performance. And back. Graf. Brozek. Harris is unlocking after getting games. We're on Rich Finn Farm one stage. And bow. Alright. Go normal. Back isn't fit. He's starting to know. They are a parlor, Youngberg, Ned, Nedved. Oh, fuck that. Franny Jeffers, the guy who scored against me the last time. So one of the only goals he ever scored for Arsenal, let's say. Fuck, look at this. We know how he's scoring out today. Got a Eustace. Who's Halls? John Halls. First time seeing him. Montero and Cole. Richard Wright. Not bad at all. Got attacking formation. Struggling, we are struggling. Oh, had a chance, had a chance there. Come on, ref. Jesus, right, ding dong battle. Not much been created. Vieira's probably beating my whole midfield and so on. Oh, lads, hold it. Come on, Brazek. Where are we? All right. <clears throat> Our final doing his favour. They're one up. Good, good, good. And Diane Raquel, of course, let me down. Liam Pure's acting well. Might have to change this back to... They're gonna score. Oh, ah, oh, fuck on that rap. A dubious decision. Fuck six. What about our penalty? Fuck. Are right, you out? Six shit of you. And he's playing shite. Damn it. God, I'm so sick of uh, Raquel me now. So sick of him. Not doing anything for me. Come on, lads, come on. Why not still in his favour? Did I go attacking? A oh, prick of a ref. <laughs> we need so many chances to score a goal. That's the problem. Oh, we missed the target. We need 20 chances to score two goals. We'll go 10 to score one. Yes, Archie! We deserve that. Hold on now. Hold it up. Hold it. Hold on. Did we get through? Yes! Thank God. TG. Yeah, even if Sausage had won, we'd have got through and goal limits with that draw. That's great for morale. Good stuff. Just as good as them. Draw is the fair result. Lombolevsky, feeling the pressure from Lee Young. She's playing eight again. The assist. Fuck him at the referee, do. Screwed us. It was a dubious decision. Kiko was brought down by Dai in the area. Prick of a ref. His contract off 0 7. Never had him in the game. Supposed to be the best player in the game. I mean, Varane is. Or Sigalco, of course. Good. We're true. We are true. It's all tough on phase two. We got a soft group there, really. Well, did we? Yeah. So that's the other tough way from home. Like, he gave us good bloody scalping, did it? Yeah, so his second article as well. Simon Cooper in his book is from 2010. I'm going to read a bit about that, about that now as well. About Maradona. Uh, it's from the World Cup. Maradona said they won the World Cup. But his manager in 2010 said they'd, uh, he'd run down the street naked in Buenos Aires. Probably would have too. <laughs> Probably would have done it. Pity he didn't win it. So he could have done it. Read the first paragraph here. Well, who'd we get? 
Dortmund. Hmm. Yeah. Figo. You look at shit. Figo. Vieri. Fuck. Beckham Vieri. <gasps> Amorosa. I'm going to be tough to beat. And Figo and Giggs. Jesus. They're all right. They splash in the cash. And Moldovan. <laughs> Uh, 34 million. Sand. Jeez, they're good, actually. 88 million. Jesus, where are they getting this money? Sold him again, then. Dennis. 30 million. Fuck, I'd love to be able to spend 88 million. I've got a load in the bank. Don't let me spell it. Spend it. Connor Casey, bye. How oh, the fuck are we get massive attendances? Like us. Jeez, there was some serious money. Serious money rolling around there. Good. And off the Argentina. Might pick up his form a bit. Ah, Chiellini. God, I got that badly wrong, didn't they? CMO 102, his stats. Clear he became. It was nearly midnight in freezing Johannesburg, but a bunch of us exhausted journalists were hanging out in a half-empty soccer city for Diego Maradona. Argentina's, Argentina's manager gives press conferences that are more fun than most of the games here. His team had just beaten Mexico its fourth straight win, and the celebrations seemed to be taking some time. Finally, the great man showed up, looking as ever like a tramp who has found a nice suit and two identical Swiss luxury watches, and proceeded to provoke journalists. That's a stupid question, he told one. To another, he said... Listen, what are you actually aiming at? When a journalist asked about Germany, Argentina's opponents in Saturday's quarterfinal, Maradona refused to answer, but offered the man carte blanche. You may write whatever you want about what I think about Germany. Oh, Brazic's injured. He's going well at the moment, was he? Last few games. As long as he's out for 10 days. He didn't score there. He was back. No one there. One there, since they put him up front. No, not there. Dropped him stupidly for that game, did I? Oh, no, I didn't. Now he's doing right, I suppose. Yet when the soup from FIFA tried to end the press conference, Maradona objected. Finally, I get the chance to speak, and he wants to send me away. There was a message he wanted to convey after two years in his job. You see, as a coach, they said I had no idea, and suddenly I've won four games, and they see me as someone else. I'd love to go move for this guy. No money, of course. Chance is two and a half million. Sickner. And uh, here is Maradona triumphant. The critics said he knew nothing about coaching. They said someone else was running Argentina's tactics. It's now clear that Maradona truly is the boss. This is his team, for better or worse. It's perfectly possible that on the 11th of July here in Soccer City, he'll be holding the World Cup aloft for the second time in 24 years. Shortly afterwards, running naked through the Buenos Aires, as per his promise. It is also perfectly possible that Argentina will fail. And if so, it will be a large part down to Maradona. And that's what happened. Maradona was appointed in 2008, not much for his supposed tactical brilliance, but to incarnate the nation. It was little like when the cheerleader Kevin Keegan was appointed manager of England. Maradona was not a mere technician, but someone who stood for Argentina. And not only embodied Argentine football... But the last World Cup had come to Germany as a fan. An Argentine shirt tout over his belly, jumpy up and down the terraces to the chance of, if you don't jump, you're an Englishman. <laughs> Go on, Diego. Julio Grandona, eternal boss of the Argentine FA. You see, he was around uh, the episode I was talking about yesterday, the 94 episode, USA 94. Had tried to surround the novice coach with experts. Maradona didn't want experts. He let his old septuagenarian coach, Carlos Bellardo, whom he'd won the World Cup in 86, have a small role, but like many ex-players turned coach, he preferred the company of his old buddies. His ad adjutants here in South Africa, dressed in the same grey suits, are his former teammates Alejandro Mancuso and Hector El Negro Enrique. Hector Enrique, I just talked about him there a second ago. He's the guy who showed from the shower about giving him a pass in 86. I did, lots of, I did a big episode in Carlos Pilar. I was on that 86 World Cup in my inverted pyramid stream, if you want to go back and listen to it. And the Lano Estra one, it's got a lot about Carlos Pilar as a player. The 86 one has a lot of Carlos Ballardo as the coach. Tactics. Get him on my Periscope channel or YouTube. 
Uh, it's just that Maradona goes way back with goes way back with them. The greatest moment of Enrique's career was shoving the ball into Maradona's feet, before the little man dribbled through half the English side to score the score the so-called best goal ever at the '86 World Cup. All right, Karen, then after the split. Ronaldinho's back. Guess who's back? Now you're going straight in. Actually, you're going front. See, so I can't get bored and playing well. Stay with this. We're playing let's stay away and go attacking. Lucinich. Don't have a good feeling about this. I don't think we're still not playing great. No, we got Bucinich. Attacking formation. Attack, yes. Jesus. Uh, Archie Barriott. All right. What an entertaining game. Now, uh, what the fuck is he doing in there? Well, shit, yeah. Change the rest of in there. Fuck it. He's really bad. He's so bad. Let's change it. Get him out of there. Go up in for the set pieces. Try him on the right. Oh, we got Booch in it. The fuck's this deal there? Do a job on him. And you can run the ball. Take off the long shots, wonder. No, you'll keep man. Yeah, you try it. And same, you, you're passing good, is it? No. But you're delivering around Lino. Yeah. Do dribbling. Run the ball. No, it's not going to work, I'd say. Well, when's in anyway? Yes, Ronnie. Get one more now, lads. Oh, Bob and fuck yeah. And playing poor up front, Archie. Kufra is on the yellow and he's on a six. Gonna get caught here at the end again. I see it. I see it. Bury it. Here we go. Here we go. Yes! Big win, God, just scraping wins. We're not battering anyone. We're doing better than the right, but still give up chances. Set loan, what this guy has. Another nine. Uh, good, good, good. A win. Hussein, the assist. This guy's an automatic eight or nine. The way he's going, Jesus. Say, Milevsky, fucking hell. We're always ready for six in the last game. He came back on eight, though. God, how am I going to fit your Kubu and Dyer on the team? 
Alright, we'll answer the game at hand. And so do Lazio. Ten points clear of Atlanta. League's gone. Six last, that's not great, like. Points we get last season. Yeah, look, we're already the same amount as we lost last season. We're already the same amount, we're nearly as many wins already, though. Draws are down. Not as good defensively yet. Probably get the same goals. Touch wood. Hussein is in. He's in the yard, shooting squad. And there's Maradona in this as a manager or coach. Come back to Napoli. No. Only a non player. Yeah, go on. He's at Newell's, the manager. Oh, two. Got, got it. Very adaptable guy. Technique based coaching style. Right, laugh at the stream yesterday. No, we're playing easier teams, right? Gotta laugh through it. Grasp and praise again. He'll drive me up the walls there a while ago. They love a bit of graph. So 20 goals is good, I suppose. You don't want to be doing it. This is an attacking team, is it? There's a lot of strikers. I'll drop them. Uh, he's off, he's off. He had to screw me across first. <laughs> it was the last game for camera. Though. Over what kind of way is that? Right, so we played you guys. That's a big one, actually. The land one might play up to the this one. Or will I? Yeah, so I'll get a chance to be back on again Friday, so I won't rush it. Still sh four, five, six, seven games, so yeah. Yeah, let's see, we're still struggling like, but anyway. Right, sorry, just looking at shit there now, so I was looking at shit. Here we go about his team selection, so 2010 as a coach. Uh, do you know this guy? Labour of the month he was for a while. He has not let me down, really. It's hardly one. What does he want? I'm not going to give him that right. You can hang around for another bit. I should cut down the bloody sign up, eh? Getting greedy there, he was. Even when it came to picking players, Maradona surrounded himself with his buddies. Juan Sebastian Varane, with whom he played at Boca Juniors in the early 90s, is now 35 and fading, but he made the squad. So did young Javier Pistor Pastore, who Maradona loves for his ab ability to mimic anyone he encounters, from waiter to bus driver. <laughs> ah, Jesus, that guy's falling off. It's falling off, he's got a Pastore. Who's he playing with now? 
Your Liverpool are after him, one stage. I was very excited about to see him in the Premier League. I think going after Roma or PSG or someone. That's gas. Pick him because he's a gas man in the squad. You need <laughs> eat those characters. World class players like Javi Zanetti and Ast Esteban Cambiasso, whom Argentina desperately need, but who don't seem to be part of the family, aren't in South Africa. Maradona's logic seems to be that he selects some passion, feeling for the shirt. That translates into selecting only people who totally buy into his project. I was talking to Carlos Bellardo and other people in the team, Maradona amused here the other night, and we were talking about the good vibrations we feel. It's more fun with your mates. Monty, still at the club. Assist machine, that fellow was. The few games I gave him. Bit of a soft spot for him. Bellardo, although never quite rejected, he was, has never quite penetrated the flanks of buddies. He and Mancuso overly loathe each other. In December, Bellardo said that Mancuso encouraged the separation between himself and Maradona and that he'd tell all on the radio. In the event, he didn't in the end. Maradona himself crushed the squabbles by noting who was the boss. No one was going to impose anything on me, not even suggest a player. They didn't do that to me when I was 15 and now I'm 48. This is quite true and something almost everyone missed before the World Cup. Maradona simply isn't the sort of guy to defer, nor is he cowed by the responsibility of coaching a team at World Cup. He's always saying here how comfortable he is at World Cups. I've seen many things and perhaps others have not done what I've done. To him a World Cup is a familiar environment, just as familiar as a favourite holiday destination for normal people. And of course he knows football. So although he listens to others, he, in the phrase of George W. Bush, Bush is the decider. Last week Argentina beat Greece with the substitute Palermo scoring a late goal. Speaking about himself in the third person, Maradona revealed afterwards. Enrique Mancuso and Maradona discussed whether Palermo or Higuain should come on. Enrique Mancuso wanted Pepita, Higuain. So I said, yeah, bring on Martin then. <laughs> uh, I've been deliberately sticky. Who's this guy? Bruno, you're stealing a living there, lad. Ah, yeah, good sort of for the gals off. We're going to let him go. The guys have come in. Brozak is back. God, I can't even give Harris a game while we're playing. But just because Maradon is the decider, it will be wrong to assume that he determines events. The role of the coach in football generally is overestimated. In our book, Why England Lose, the sports economist Stefan Szymanski and I showed that players' salaries determine almost by themselves where a club finishes in the league. This would be a good win if we get this one now. Lotto Flores. Well, still on still at the club. I had no one wants him. Hey, decent. Steady. No room for him. Maybe a bit of injuries. I'll have to go back to our... Oh, shit, I keep bloody... Forget to say the other one. Okay, I'll have to go back to this. Score more with it. Bit of Lee Young here, I wonder. I know I have a couple of guys out here at the moment, so... How's he doing? Playing well. Spar morale. I'd like to get Chris back in sometime. Jeez, he's 7 by 4 to 40 games. It's very good for a defender, actually. Probably being hard to strap him. Maybe need to rest. 40 games is a lot. Mad, two boys are out. And I and Hussein. All the is away. Thanks be to God. Boban, you're starting at home. And Sally. Brozak. Barney. Vidigal. Alright. What's hacking? Back, you can play on the left. So you have a left foot. Yeah. Well, now Ronnie. Swing it for us. Playing well. It's 11 11 in fairness to him. He's delivered right. Come on, lads. Let's win this bloody one. 4 4 2. To Michele. Jorgensen. Now Zedis. He always scored against me in my inverted pyramid save. When he was at Blackburn. Now Zedis and Crouch up front. Man, it's getting over it's grabbing early one. Ah, 
A shit buried ball. That's sanctus and goal. Come on, go for that time. No. All right, okay. They're not too much, but we're not here in front. Graffiti again. Missed all the goals. <clears throat> Yes, bury this. Yes, Sally. Seems like we weren't going to score the way we're going. Hold it. Yes, Sally. That's the boy, Salise. And the boy, Sal. Man, let me get. Yes, Lee Young again. Jesus, outstanding. Uh, man's wrecked. So it's craft, it's point and performance craft. Three shots today, five shots, two on target, no goals. Two we chance, that fella, he needs too many. Got it, Sonny off, really saved us. We were struggling to score. Good, good, good. Great, playing well. Now that we're not conceding stupid goals. First shot in. Salis, what a performance. And Graf got an assist. In fairness to him, did I criticize him? Alright, where was I? Ah, la la la. So Maradona coaching in 2010 at the World Cup. Oh yeah, with the wages, determining where to finish in the league. The typical coach doesn't matter much because the coach appears after the game to explain why his team has won or lost. We start to believe that he shaped the result. In fact, he's usually better understood as a team spokesman. At a World Cup, it would be ludicrous to think that the best players in the country, with many years of professional experience, need to be told by a coach just what to do. Argentina has a very mature culture of football tactics. This is not New Zealand or England. Here in South America, Maradona often consults with a, for a forum of senior players, Varane, Mascherano and Heinze. On the field, they can shape matters. Maradona also happens to possess the best player on earth, Leo Messi, who is in the habit of winning games single-handedly. If you have such a sensational team, it's easy, said Maradona, after his boys whipped South Korea 4-1. Perhaps he was trying to be modest, but perhaps it was true. <coughs> Squeeze me. They were delighted with that one. We got Bonomi tied down. Certainly a Maradoniano team is taking shape. Never heard that phrase before. Maradoniano. Messi has finally come in, become an Argentine football parlance, the team's owner. Running things in central midfield as Maradona wanted. After all, the coach's previous plans for Messi failed. The team has scored four times for set pieces, which Maradona claims to orchestrate. They don't play defensive Billardista anti-football associated with the old coach. Yeah, the real pragmatist Billardo was. The mark of Maradona is also visible in the team's failings. In the absence of Zanetti and Cambiasso, there is no decent right back. The only one ball winning midfielder is Mascherano. That means Argentina often go long periods without possession. What I didn't like is that we left the ball so often to Mexico in the second half, Maradona complained in Soccer City. It's our ball. But that's the team he created. We may yet get to relish that naked run or waddle. <laughs> or waddle. But if so, it will have as much to do with Mascherano or Messi or the glorious Carlos Tevez as with the fat chap who does the press conferences and his kitchen cabinet. Oh, the kitchen cabinet was about that line. All right, huge game for a Champions League spot. Fighting for a Champions League, fighting for a second spot. This is huge. Away in San Siro. It's going to go normal. And keep the team alive. The boy's back. My big hitters and die's back. Yeah. What did Grand London do? A 9 out of 10. That's what I want. Guys, step in like that. And Hussein can't trap uh, the oh, man's out. Stick Hussein on the right. Or Brazek. Brazek. No, away from home. Go Hussein. Or oh, Raquel is back. Some big hitters back now. Or morale and doing alright and doing alright. 
but always very happy in the contract. All right, just the team to get it done. And San Siro, the Giuseppe Miazza. How we call him this, 2001. Archie and Graf. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Give it to these guys. Shevchenko and Inzaghi. Enrique, he does well against me actually. Rivaldo, Gattuso, Cannavaro, Maldini. Fuck, we're rough against it here. We're up against it. Come on, lads, Perlo on the bench. Stick to these guys. Just stick on Shevchenko. He always kills me. Hold for first. Well done. Yes! The African destroyer. Ah, bloody hell, Hussein. Shit, that's bloody hell, he's starting well, no, the right wing. Got all my strikers off, Archie, I suppose. Now we just stick Archie out there for a while. Fuck it, after a great start. Two yellows in 15 minutes. Ah, Ronnie, bury it. Fuck your Ronaldinho. Got her. Hold it half time. Hold it. Hold on. Oh shit, nearly scored for half time. Alright, Jesus Christ. Well over. Huh? Pity with a bloody red card. And dies on a six. So is Archie out on the right. Get Brazek in. With an Archie, did you bit? No fault, lad. No fault. Ah, fuck. What a start. First shot and goal. Yeah, back in the net. Yes, Graf! Come on! Let's get your man out, he's tiring. Ah, uh, Boban. Hate putting this fucker in. Hate putting Raquel in. Go put him here. Might be inviting him on us, but anyway. Got a better team. Fucking Egypt of Goalie. Who got it? Contra at the back. Hold it. Hold. Yes! Mighty win. Huge win. Win San Siro. Down 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 16 minutes. Brilliant. Better team as well we are. We're turning it around slowly. Touch wood. Maldini let them down. 35. And Luis Enrique, who was as well against me. 33. Good stuff, Leon. Fucking hell. Can't get over good this guy is. It's a nice start to them. This guy's not slowing down either, thankfully. Graf with the goal. Ronaldinho man in the match. Two assists. The job. Kelme 6. Fucking hell, I'd nearly sell him. Got Nate in his last game for Argentina, of course. Where are they playing him? Got Nate against Brazil, did he? He did. And so did Hussein. Flying my boys. Playing him there in the middle of the field, yeah. It's an interesting formation, right? And Hussein there. Hmm. Huge win. Huge bloody win. Delighted. Let's read off the end of this. Um, this article. So this is the after, after I think after. So that was the end of the article. Then he had like an addendum at the end. Then uh, Maradona's struggled to find work since the World Cup was assigned at times. As I write, he's put himself on the English job market, telling Sky Sports the only problem is that all the teams I already like have a good coach. But if I, if a job comes free, I'll definitely accept it. Fifteen years ago, fifteen years ago, there was a, there was still a widespread belief in football that a great player would generally become a great coach. His sheer presence would motivate his players to exceed their limits. That's why Brian Robson was given all the money, spending money he wanted at Middlesbrough, and was touted as a future English manager. Practically before he had unlocked his office door, it's also why Keegan was named England manager in '99. Now, though, football is a bit more professional. See the profile of Mike Forblow, and no club. But any sense will touch Maradona. Unless they're a Mexican club, of course. Where he went after. Alright, I'm going to leave there now. After that brilliant, brilliant win. I'm going to leave it back and come back Friday again. Now that I've got the ball rolling, I've got my teeth back into the safe. Got the hunger going for it again.
Uh, there's only one chapter left in the Maradona book, uh, so I don't know what I'll do, but uh, I have a, I'm reading a book about Argentinian football. Simon Cooper's reading. Oh, huge games come back to Dortmund. What about formation? Are you still playing this bullshit? Yeah. That was against two. Barcelona, that was Champions League. Yeah. And Barcelona walloped them. Good stuff. Did they play that there? Yeah, it's better it's Barcelona. Did Roma as well? They beat Bally Roma. Did Roma get out of the group? They did. Barcelona, Liverpool, and fuck, they squeaked through and goal of us. Jeez, I can't beat Dortmund, beat Roma. Jeez, they smashed Barcelona. They lost away. They're not quite away from home, are they? They're bloody dying away at home. Yeah, they won three of their games at home. And drew one away, so got him through. Who did draw it? Did they draw? Yeah, it is. Someone, someone in there. Right, have you an interesting game to go back to? They have an interesting squad. Fuck, pity Rome got through. Rosicky, Nivel, not even in the squad, and Sonny Anderson. Giggs, Figo, maybe Giggs is cop tired. Hmm. Delighted two lads. Dirty fuck, dirty Argentine. Jeez, if, if uh, Leon Pio doesn't get player of the month, I'll be making a strong objection. So I will. Nice. We'll leave it there. That's good, that's good. Turned around a bit after yesterday's disappointment. I'll be back on Friday. Uh, I don't know, afternoon or evening or something. I'll be back in it.